the new movie Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, which opens in theaters this Friday. Please welcome back the talented and charming Orlando Bloom. <laughs> For having me back. Now, clearly women are, are, are crazy about you. Cameron Diaz was here last week, and she was talking about how Victoria's Secret uh, voted her sexiest legs. And she said, when I was a kid, had I known that, that would have saved me so much heartache because she was a kid. She had scrawny lips. When you were younger, uh, mm. were, you, were you this popular with girls, or did you have a to totally different childhood? <laughs> uh, I was kind of chubby. Quite chubby as a kid. You were? Yeah, really? Yeah, I was, yeah. And I broke my leg when I was about nine skiing, and uh, so I had a cast from about nine to ten. It was like, for some reason, it was a year in cast, and it was at a time where I was, I used to be really sporty and stuff, mm -hmm. and so I, I just started eating chocolate, and I just got a bit tummy, and but I got so tubby that my mom, I remember saying, like, thinking, like, she took me to a doctor and said, he just can't stop eating chocolate, and he tried to hypnotize me and stuff to stop <laughs> me eating chocolate. My mom kind of got into that hippy dippy stuff. Uh, and then, and then, once the cast came off, or the cost, as you call it, the cost. <laughs> came off, once the cost come off, <laughs> then, then you lost the weight again, and you were popular with girls. Yeah, I started playing sport again. Uh huh. I don't know if I was popular. Yeah, I suppose. Um, I don't know. And did you have you had? I grew up with my mom and my sister, so I was always comfortable with girls. You know? mm -hmm. So I felt like I just was quite friendly with girls. And were you? <laughs> Were you good in... <laughs> Why? What's that face? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you, were you popular? Like, were you good in school? Did you have good grades? Did you study hard? Did yeah, you... I worked really hard at school. I mean, I, I'm, I, I was... It was it, I was I'm mildly dyslexic. Not, not badly, but enough that it was a good excuse to pretend that, like, I couldn't do work uh -huh. at school and just be looking out the window. But actually, um, no, I worked really hard to get all my exams. I took uh -huh. extra, extra classes for stuff, because I had a really great teacher who explained to me that... Um, it didn't make me stupid, you know, and I didn't ever feel stupid. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, dyslexia isn't something that you have to kind of be afraid of, you mm -hmm. know. Um, and once I was really explained that, because I, I was smart, you know, and actually my IQ was really high when I got tested, because they test your IQ and then they test you for different things. And uh, so I had extra classes for, like, for, for, to, to help me with it, and I did really well at school at the end. It frustrates that. you, though. I think a lot of kids have ADD or dyslexia, <laughs> and it does make you feel like you're not it's smart. Really, really... It's got nothing to do with intelligence. No, it's no. A, Absolutely, it's really and it's tough. just a, it's just, and thankfully I found acting, and I was always really creative at school, and, and, and I was encouraged to embrace that side of it. I think creativity is massively important for kids. It is. You know, it's like we, we, we send, send our kids to, you know, I mean, I don't have them yet, but, yeah. like, I'm going to make sure that they have access to, any, you know, any kind of art classes, whatever it is, because it's, it's, you know, you can, you can go so far with that. You know, it's and just so the, necessary. It's, and they're trying to cut all that in school right now. Crazy, they're trying to cut costs crazy. in so many. It's crazy. It's our it's kids. Yeah. And you, like you said, you said your kids, you don't have kids right now, but when soon do, you'll yeah. plan on having yeah, kids. Definitely. How soon? <laughs> <laughs> Why, you want some? Uh, sure. <laughs> I, I kind of do, but I don't want to have oh, really? one. But yeah. But if you want to have some and well, give them to me, <laughs> I'll take some yeah, of your right, you can, some They'll be pretty. <laughs> They'll be real pretty kids. Beautiful blue yeah. eyes. Yeah. Blondes, maybe a bit of brunette. Oh, you're know, saying you want skin. my eggs? No. You can't. <laughs> what are you proposing to me? I'm joking. So I'd say... I would be honored. Ooh. You are... Huh? <laughs> Did you... And uh, you just found this out. We told you backstage. He's the most Googled man uh, how you were the most googled man you'd have like if you googled yourself right now which it's don't. my mom she's constantly is it your mom doing it <laughs> yes you'd what have like friends? three million hits like just right now just what do you think that is i i don't even really understand googling so yeah. i don't know <laughs> i'm still completely com do you have a computer it. You know, I, I bought one, but I haven't really used, used it. No. And it's pathetic, you know. I, I, I don't either. It's pathetic. It's sad. I it's refuse sad. to join the, the... I do too. I, I think it's horrible. It. I really like writing it. and I like calling people. Me too. What happened to writing letters? Uh, yes. I mean, that's beautiful. It's kind of, there's something beautiful in getting... Yes. Don't you think, receiving a letter? And it's, there's something beautiful about a actually it coming out of a Spending pen of your hand instead of touching it. things. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I was down in Antarctica recently, and I was at the last... 
I sent a bunch of postcards from the last post office in the, at the bottom of the world, basically. And it's called Fort, Fort Lotroy. It's, and there's a post box there. I mean, they're still waiting to receive the postcards, but, you know, uh, right. that was six months ago. So that tell me about that, uh, Antarctica, because you were in, uh, is that for uh, Hang on, are we going to have kids? Is that, what, where do we get to with that? We, we decided that we may have kids. We're not sure yet. We're not sure. We're going to, yes. we'll talk about it later. I think that's where we show. left Sorry, it. yeah. But, but if you want to have my children, you can. Do <laughs> <laughs> you think I could? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? We could look that off on the computer, except neither of us would be able to do we that. We don't right? understand. You, with the computer stuff and with my uh, sexuality, I don't know how it works. <laughs> but we'll figure it out, and you will have my children. Thanks. All yeah, right. I know. I can imagine. All right. All right. We have to take a break, and we'll figure this out. We'll be right back. <laughs> Coming up, magician Jason Randall shocks Ellen. And later, the soulful music of Joss Stone. Well, I had no choice. You chose not to tell me. I couldn't. It wasn't your burden to bear. But I did bear it, didn't I? I just didn't know what it was. I thought. You thought I loved him. If you make your choices alone, how can I trust you? You can't. It's a moody world, Turner. Don't have her kids, not mine. <laughs> I know. Have my kids, not hers. All right, We're still so, trying to figure out how I'm actually going to have kids. I don't know yet, but someone is going to figure it out for right, us. I know. <laughs> it's the 21st century, for crying out loud. Uh, so, uh, it, w what is the deal with, there's like a battle scene that took four months? Yeah, I mean, we... To shoot? We were shooting actually down in uh, Palmdale for about four months in a giant warehouse, which was... Um, one big rain machine, actually. It was kind of hard. A lot of chafing. Wet costumes are very uncomfortable. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. <laughs> nice. It's a lot of work for a movie like that. It it's is, a whole actually, lot of work. Yeah. Um, all right, so well, let's talk about, because you said you went to Antarctica, and I'm just, I, I, I can imagine how gorgeous and also uh, educational that yeah, is. Yeah, it was all right. massively. So look at you with penguins. Oh, look at that, yeah. Now, how cold was it? It was very cold, about minus uh, 20. Minus 15, 20. 20, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and that was um, that was a bunch of there was I, I went with uh, on a science exposition boat, but it turns out that it was um, basically a vacation boat for a bunch of guys for good breach tires. Uh huh. So um, it was it was interesting. I had a great time because I ended up uh, climbing a mountain and snowboarding down it. I ended up like uh, scuba diving in Antarctica, which wow. is kind of in a dry suit, but it's freezing. You know, I mean, obviously, like I just came out, my hands were frozen. It was just awful. But um, hello. But that was. But, uh, but it, was, it was an amazing experience. And, and you know, the, the, thing about, um, the thing about seeing and being in Antarctica is that it's, it's these giant icebergs, which are three times bigger below the water than they are above, and they just feel like dinosaurs, you know? It's really tragic, because it feels so fragile. It just feels like I'm seeing it now, and next year, you know it's going to be very different. Yeah, and it's, after, we're looking at years it from now, it's amazing rate. I mean, every year, it just goes down more and yeah, more and more. Yeah, and, and the, but the thing about the environment that frustrates me is that it always seems like doom and gloom, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, you can be somebody who drives an SUV, but you can still use energy efficient light bulbs or make a difference in other areas, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's like, you don't, it doesn't have to be all or nothing because it's that thing of like, oh, I, I'm not environmentally friendly because I drive an SUV, so therefore, because that makes me feel safe, but so therefore I'm just going to keep living how I am and put my head in a box and forget right. about it. Actually, no, just, okay, drive your SUV, maybe make a donation to like a wind farm or something, or, you know, or offset it by doing that, or, or use energy efficient light bulbs, or, you know. Plant trees. Plant trees, or, just, or, yeah. you know, it's like it doesn't have to be all or nothing, and that's the thing that I keep coming back to, because, you know. It's hard to live all the way on the other side, but it really is, but it I, is I agree. Sure. Little things that we do are well, going to make a huge difference. Well, eventually it will change, because it's going to have to, so. Yeah, you know, like you said, water is going to be a huge It's going to be more expensive than oil, you know, I mean, it's going to be massive. It's crazy to is, think uh, that. 
crazy because these water bottles that we're just throwing away and drinking and acting like there's nothing wrong, one day Filters. we're going to look back on that. It's Use crazy. a filter, yeah. All right, well, uh, I adore you, and um, we'll figure out how it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End oh, opens in, the <laughs> in, theater, in a theater this Friday. Uh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. How about Ellen? The king of spades. Was that it? You know that's not it. <laughs>